So many network marketers fall in love with a health and wellness product, and then they realize that there's an incredible opportunity to build the lifestyle and income of their dreams. But what happens when you get started and you run out of friends and family to talk to, and what you're doing on social media just isn't quite getting you where you wanna be? Well, the truth is it's probably not your fault. It just takes a little marketing know-how that you may not be getting from anywhere else. So on this podcast, I'm sharing with you the secrets that I've been able to learn from all of my top earner friends and mentors. I'm pulling back the curtain on exactly what it takes to get people excited about the wellness products that you have to offer, to help people improve their lives, and to get you to the rank that you want to be at. My name is Soraya Goddard, and this is Secrets to Marketing Your Wellness MLM. friends. Hello. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I am doing this Facebook Live. Man, it's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live, but this will also be a podcast episode. To, so hello to all of you watching on multiple platforms. I am excited to be here. Let me just make sure my audio is good. Um, I am excited to talk about something that has been super fun, super, super fun over the last six days that I've been on it. And so um, how many of you, hey guys, how many of you are on Clubhouse? It is all anyone that I know is talking about right now. And I'm going to give you my review so far. I'm going to give you some tips, some tricks, and then basically say like, is it worth it? Is it worth it for you to be on there? Um, So if you are interested in that topic, let your friends know. You can tag them here or share this video into your groups. All good. So yes, I've seen some of you guys on it. I'm connected with many of you. If I haven't connected with you yet, it's coming. It's been kind of a whirlwind. So let's um, let's just start with what is Clubhouse, okay? So if you're on there, you know. But for a lot of people who don't know what Clubhouse is, it's an app. It's a new app. Now, here's the thing. Most people are like, I need a new app, like a hole in the head, right? I already have TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook, and I can't manage any of those. I certainly don't need anything new. And if that is you, I totally feel you because that was my first reaction. I was like, there is no freaking way that I have time for anything else. Like I just, I kind of blew it off. But I will tell you that the FOMA marketing got me. So whoever is in charge of Clubhouse, I don't know who like made the app or whatever, but their marketing is genius. My understanding is that they are limiting invitations to the app right now for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's kind of still in beta version. And so you don't want to invite the entire world and break it and then have a bunch of pissed off people like that will screw up your launch. Also, this is a great marketing strategy, right? Creating fear of missing out, creating buzz, creating scarcity is really what it is. It's that scarcity marketing. So you can tuck that idea of scarcity marketing back in your head next time you have something that you need to sell. But I will tell you, initially I was like, okay, good. If I get an invite, great. If I don't, no big deal. I did get one, uh, I think like six or seven days ago. So been on it, cruising around. It is a lot of fun, but let me give you a whole big review of like what it is, what makes it different than other apps. I'll field some questions if those of you who are on live have questions about it so far. I'm certainly not the expert, but I will share with you what I have learned in many hours of binging on Clubhouse so far. So like I said, I thought it sounded dumb at first, but I've changed my mind. So here is what it is. It is a voice app. Okay, it's a voice app. There are no videos, there are no pictures, there's no texting, there's no DM, there is no replay function, and there are no pictures of any way, right? You get on and you talk with other people. So think of it like you drop into a cocktail party or a coffee shop discussion and you can join, you can sit in the background and just listen, or you can raise your hand And the moderator or whoever created the room can promote you to a speaker and then you can engage in the discussion. And the moderator has control over who and how many people and when people are added to this discussion or removed from the discussion. And so I have been on rooms where there are 2,000 plus people in it and 100 people in the discussion. I've been in rooms where there are three people in it. I was on one today where I was one of three people in it. Um, and everybody was chatting. So 
it's as big or as small as you want to be. I will tell you, if you get in some of those bigger rooms, you're going to get lost, but they're a lot of fun too for, for different reasons. We'll get into like how to use it as a network marketer and just as part of your marketing strategy here in a second. So again, it's invite only. It's also only for Apple right now. So sorry, Android users. I don't know what to tell you. No clue. I don't run the app. I don't know when that will change or if that will change. I assume it will change in the future, but for right now, it's just for Apple. So Here's the bottom line up front. Here is what it does that other apps don't do. It allows you to connect in a very informal way with people who you normally would not be able to connect with. Now, I'll give you a couple examples. You can connect with mentors. You can connect with influencers. You can connect with people who are well-established in network marketing. Anybody for that matter, in any industry, it doesn't have to be network marketing, but you can connect with basically anybody um, and you can hop on and hop off very organically. So again, it's kind of like just showing up at a party and you listen in for a little bit and then you go back away to what you're doing. You can stay on for hours at a time, minutes at a time. It's all up to you. It's very casual. Um, it will allow you to seek advice from people who you typically wouldn't have access to. I was just before I got on this call, I was in a room with Grant Cardone and a bunch of real estate investors talking about incredible real estate investment strategy, which is something that I am extremely listen, um, excuse me, interested in. And so there is no time, unless I want to pay a couple hundred thousand dollars, where I'm going to be able to just eavesdrop on an honest, raw conversation from Grant Cardone. That's an example. But let's just like bring it down a little bit. It's just a great app to connect with other people that do what you do and learn from each other. I have been part of some incredible conversations. Um, I was on a discussion yesterday morning about TikTok marketing strategy. Um, I was on a discussion this afternoon about essential oils. I am actually hosting a discussion about social media marketing for network marketers tomorrow. That'll be my first time hosting. It's just a fantastic place. So you can seek advice, you can give advice, you can share stories and just connect. You can collaborate. And then I will tell you, this is the, I have not seen any app do this. And of course I'm like six days in, right? And this app is very new. So we'll see what happens. But right now I've never seen another app that allows you to network. I have seen people get clients. Um, I haven't like really pitched any services or anything like that. So I don't necessarily have any teammates or clients or anything that I've received in the last six days, but I guarantee you that will come. Like it's very organic that you just end up having discussions and helping each other out and serving other people. Um, so that is just fantastic. Um, I don't think that right now there is a way to search topics. So what you need to do if you're interested in a specific topic is to find someone who has an established present in that presence in that industry and then you will get notified when either they host a room or they are part of a room. Yeah, so let's talk about this. I'm just reading the comments here. It's kind of like Zoom meets LinkedIn. So I had a question on Instagram stories yesterday about like how is this different from Marco Polo or Zoom or Voxer or anything like that. And it's radically different from all of those, which don't get me wrong, that's not to take away from any of those platforms. I love Zoom. I use it every day. I am obsessed with Voxer. That is maybe my favorite app. I mean, like I just rely on Voxer for everything. So Voxer, I am going to be able to connect with someone that I know already. And you and I have to connect on purpose. And then I voice chat you. Now you can, same thing with Marco Polo. You can create bigger rooms and like get your team on a Marco Polo or a big Zoom group or something like that. But this is much more organic. This is like you're walking down the sidewalk in New York City and you look to your right and there's a big old coffee shop and a hundred of your favorite influencers and friends and people in your niche are all gathered at this coffee shop and the door's wide open and there's a seat right there for you. Like that doesn't happen on Zoom or Voxer or anything like that unless you're already connected to, to those people. So this is really fascinating. Like it's absolutely fascinating. And because Clubhouse is so new, people are spending just like an insane amount of hours, including myself on there, listening to it in the background of like whatever else they're doing. And so these conversations are just getting in depth. I've been listening to network marketing conversations and overall just online internet marketing conversations, uh, real estate investment conversations, things that I'm interested in. My brother is an actor. Um, he's actually here with me for the holidays right now. And today we were listening into like people that are in the acting industry. So you name the industry, it's there. There's like 
gossip stuff, there's sports stuff, like you name it, it's on there. So that's, it's really fascinating. But ultimately what it does that other apps don't do is you can keep it running in the background. So you can just have your phone on, you can put a headphone in or whatever you want. You just have it kind of running in the background. I've heard people who are like at the gym listening to it or, you know, driving their kids to school or whatever it is. So if there's a really cool room that holds your interest, you can kind of just keep it going in the background. It's almost like it's a live podcast. Okay. So it is invite only. So when you join the app, you have to be invited by someone who's already on the app. And everybody who, when they sign, like you sign up um, because someone invited you and then you get to the app and you get one invite. And so it is genius marketing. Lots of people have super crazy FOMO because they can't get an app. Let me just give you some advice. Woosa, you will get your app. Like I, you will get your invite. I promise you, you will get an invite. Everybody will get on eventually. Do not stress or get desperate. Like I have had so many people message me for invites. I have had a couple of invites. I'm giving them to team members. I'm giving them to people that I have a list of. Like I, I don't have enough invites to go around. I got one, but then I have been participating in quite a few rooms. And the more you participate, the more you get extra invites. So like this morning I woke up and I had three invites. I had a list of people that I had already promised invites to if I got them in the future, not knowing that I would actually get any. Um, so my advice to you is participate and you will get more invitations if you're already on Clubhouse. If you don't already have an invite, link up with good people who you know and just say, hey, look, when and if you get one, I would love to be considered or you know, I'd love to be able to, to be on your list. There is a way that if your phone number is already in someone's phone, so let's say you and I are friends, I already have your phone number as a contact in my phone. When I create a Clubhouse account, it may, it doesn't always happen, but it may jump on and say, hey, like you have your invite, your one free invite, but I see that the following people are also in your phone and they're waiting for their clubhouse invite and they've already gone on and they've already reserved their username. Would you like to let them in? And then you can say yes or no, which of course, if they're your friend, you're probably going to say yes. So that has happened. And I did have that happen to me. So I've been able to give out, I think, six invites so far, which is really nice. And I'm sure the more I host and stuff, I'll, I'll probably get more. I will share them with as many people. So don't like blow up my DM saying I need an invite. I understand lots of people need an invite. Um, anyways, so it's fun. It's great, but everybody will eventually be able to get in. So like, don't stress out about it. You're not missing out on anything like radically life-changing right this minute. Um, and also just don't like desperately message people. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, anyways, so Let's talk, I'm gonna give you five tips once you're on the app. If you have found this valuable so far, if you're listening on the podcast, go ahead and screenshot it, upload it to your Instagram stories, and let me know that this is helpful. If you're on Facebook with me live right now, if you wanna share this into a group, by all means, because this is these are the five things that I've learned over the last six days that I think are extremely, extremely helpful. And I have spent hours on this app, just having it running in the background. Okay, so number one tip is, make a lengthy bio. Unlike Instagram, unlike Facebook, you have no limit on characters, or at least none that I can see. Maybe there's a limit, but it's insanely big. But um, you can fit a lot of stuff on it. So go, once you're in the app, go and take a look at people who already kind of have a presence and already have a following and copy the, literally just copy the format of their app, their bio, excuse me, and replace their info for yours. Tweak it as it might apply, right? Like don't steal their words, I don't mean that, but I mean copy the format. Um, so I took about three or four people and merged formats. I will probably continue to evolve my bio. The reason why this is important is because as you're speaking and participating and listening in these various rooms, you can click on someone's face and up pops their short bio. And then you can say, like read full bio and this whole thing, pages can come up. So I've been just listening to a conversation and I'll pull up someone who I'm like, oh wow, that's super interesting. And I'll read their full bio. I might even click on a link because you can have links in your bio, which is awesome. So people have lead magnets in there and websites and courses, uh, all sorts of interesting stuff. Now, network marketers don't go putting your like MLM sign up link there. That's not great marketing. But if you have something of value, 
that you would like to share with people? A video, um, something you've created, again, a free lead magnet, something like that, by all means do that. You can also link your, um, your Instagram and your Twitter. I don't really actively use Twitter, so I don't have my Twitter linked, but I do have my Instagram linked. So people can go then to Instagram and connect with you there in the DM. A lot of that. I've actually gotten a couple Instagram followers today because of a conversation that I participated in. So I could see the person followed me on Clubhouse, then went over to Instagram and followed me there, which is fascinating. Um, and I've done that for other people as well. Okay. So number one tip, make a bio and I mean, don't get too crazy. It's not necessarily all about you. Start it with an all, I help statement. I help this type of people with this type of problem. I help, you know, these people solve this thing and go from there. You can evolve it, but definitely create a bio sooner than later, because as soon as you start jumping into rooms, people are going to start to look at your, um, your profile. Number two tip, contribute to discussions. So I am going to make a bet that 99% of you listening to this or watching this will just lurk. You will lurk because you're lurkers, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you've got to like, you got to be in it to win it, right? This is an app where you need to get over that fear and you need to raise your hand and contribute something that you think is helpful or ask a question or just raise your hand and show appreciation and give some kudos to whoever is posting the room. Hey, I just want to let you know that I am loving this discussion, particularly about the part where you said X, Y, and Z. This really applies to me. So thank you so much for hosting. Like just jump on in, right? Don't be shy. What will not work. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Thank you. I'll, I'll get to some of your questions as well in the comments. Um, but I'm so glad that you're finding this information helpful. When you are on if you're just lurking, you will never network. And the entire point of this app is to network. It is literally the entire purpose of this app is just networking. So as network marketers, this is built for us. So don't just lurk. I also am weary of the advice that I'm giving at the same time, because I am reminded of the, the adage, a closed mouth gathers no feet, right? You don't want to get up there and like show your true colors if you are, uh, I don't know have something great to participate with, right? That, that's what I'm saying. Don't lurk, don't stress out about it. I guess what I'm laughing about is that I've seen some people who like I have seen from afar on Instagram and now that I hear them open their mouth, I'm like, oh Lord, okay, got it. Now I see it. So I guess on the flip side is you can't really hide when it's just you talking. You start to really get to feel people's vibe and what they're about. So that could be a pro or a con, okay. So tip number two, contribute to discussions as you see fit. Don't be shy. Ask questions, participate. Tip number three, host a chat. Now I am doing my first hosted chat tomorrow. I've been invited as a speaker on, I think, three or four different chats now, which is awesome, but I'm actually hosting one tomorrow. So if anyone wants to join me, I'm doing a chat on social media for network marketers in 2021, and that's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. So if you're already on the app, go follow me. I don't currently have any invites to give out. Um, I have a list of people that I'm trying to get invites, and I'm kind of working through that list. So, um, But if you're definitely on, go for it. Join me tomorrow. We'll, we'll chat. It'll be fun. But take a leap. You don't have to necessarily be an expert to host a room. You can interview someone about a topic, or you could just talk about a topic that you know a lot about. Uh, let's just say that you are in the in a beauty network marketing company, right? It's not a picture or a video platform, but you could easily gather a room together and talk about trends in beauty in 2021 and, and maybe invite members of your team to talk about that um, or just other people in the industry as well. You can interview people. You can uh, just host a discussion about a generic topic that you already know about. Certainly don't be intimidated. Everybody can be a contributor in a valuable way on this app. And I think that's the genius of this. Uh, okay, so tip number three, host rooms and chat and chats and, and participate as much as you can. Number four, tip number four, go in with the idea and the purpose that this app is a networking platform. So in other words, don't just sit in the corner, listen, and never connect with anyone. Your goal should be to connect with lots of people who you think are helpful to you along your journey or people who you think you might be able to serve as well. Um, 
I think the genius in this app is it has exposed me in just a six short day period to people who I would have never followed before and I had no idea existed, but we have some mutual friends, so now, I, now I'm exposed to them and um, I think there's some people that I'm gonna co-host rooms with next week that I didn't meet until yesterday. So it's just a great networking opportunity. Who knows what will come of it? So go in with the idea of networking and providing value. This is a basic marketing principle. You can entertain, you can educate, you can just participate. Lots of ways to provide value that all of you are fully capable of. And my last tip is that you have got to cross promote. What I mean by this is that you should be able to get on Facebook and Instagram and say, hey, come follow me over there take what you've learned over on Clubhouse and teach it other places. Like definitely mix, mix promotion, mix topics, and use it as an integrated marketing strategy. If you are someone who does not, um, let's say you're someone that sticks to one app, like you're like, I'm a Facebook person, right? I am a Facebook person, awesome. Then here's what you can do, go over to Clubhouse, listen whenever you have a moment. You can probably gain information just by listening 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, and then come and teach what you learned over on Facebook, right? Use it to build your network. Say, hey guys, I'm over on Clubhouse. I'm listening to this kind of stuff and this is what I'm learning. Here's the really cool info that I learned today. Or I met this person on Clubhouse and now I'm gonna interview them over on Instagram Live. Or, I mean, there's a million ways to cross promote. And here's why cross promoting is so important. You are going to, as a networker, like be connected to new people by doing this. So you're gonna find friends of people who you didn't know. They're gonna come over to your Instagram. They're gonna come over to your Facebook. It's just gonna be good in every single way that I can think about. So get creative, don't have sales as an end game. Like don't get on there and pitch your crap, right? Nobody, like nobody wants that you will quickly um, learn that it like, it's just, that's not happening right now. Now, if it comes up organically and you're like, yeah, I can help you with that. Connect with me on Instagram or here's my email address or whatever, fine. But don't get on there and, and uh, you know, just word vomit your pitch everywhere. I don't think you guys would do that anyway, but just in case. Um, okay, so my last tip just to recap was cross promote. The things that are working for you right now are, working for you for a reason. So if you're an Instagram person or you do Instagram and Facebook, or maybe you only build on Facebook, stick with what you got. Don't abandon that, right? Don't all of a sudden throw your DMO out the window. But as you have some time, as you have 10, 15 minutes in your day, and you can find conversations on Clubhouse that may relate to things that your audience will want to know about, take notes and come share them. Or uh, you know, jump in on a conversation and share with what you're doing on other platforms. Like there's just so many ways to spread the goodness over platforms that I think you'll see benefits. So I hope that that was helpful. I'm gonna answer some questions here. Allison, hey girl, says, who are your favorite MLM influencers you like on there? Well, um, I actually sent a couple of invites today to some of my favorite people. Um, I think Let's see, uh, let me talk about people who are already on there who are doing great stuff. Uh, Ray Higdon is on there, who you guys know that I love and is an, an amazing person in, um, in the network marketing space. Uh, Lisa Grossman is on there, who got an invite last night. If you don't know Lisa Grossman, you should follow her. She is just pure wisdom and love and one of the best human beings ever. Um, Taylor Thompson, I gave an invite to today. She hasn't really explored the app yet, but go follow her because I guarantee you she will be on there probably with Larry at some point, giving a lot of amazing value in the future. Um, let's see, um, da, 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 da. Sarah Zalecki is over there. Nicola Smith Jackson is over there. That's probably a good list to start. So I would go follow all those people. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey Zach, yeah, I don't have any more invites, but keep uh, keep at it, and we will. Uh, someone will get you one eventually. Zach said, "I heard something about the app not having video. Yeah, you missed the beginning of it. No video, no pictures, no texting, no DMs, no replays. It's just live audio. It's like a live podcast. So, yeah, you're welcome. If you guys have any other questions, drop them below. Otherwise, just a quick recap. I really think it's worth it. I don't get excited about new apps." Um, I am on TikTok. Like, I, I mean, this is kind of part of my job, right? I love teaching social media, so I like to experiment with new apps. But I will tell you, I am really interested in the possibility of Clubhouse 
it will no doubt evolve over time and it will no doubt, you know, things will change. Just like the Instagram that you signed up for in 2011 is not the Instagram that is today. The Facebook account that you had where we were like all talking in third person awkwardly in 2008 and 2007 is not the Facebook of today. Like apps will evolve. But for right now, I think it is a great way to get on there and network and connect with people who you normally would not have an opportunity to connect with. I don't mean that necessarily as like people who are like in a, in a position of more success than you either. It, it, I just mean that in every way you can help people, right? Get on there, start a room. There is somebody on that app who you can help. I guarantee you somebody is craving the information that you have and that you can share with them. So I would encourage you guys to just get over there. I'm going to give you another shameless plug that if you're already on the app, come follow me. My handle is at Soraya Goddard, just like it is on my Instagram and join me. I would love for you to join my discussion tomorrow. I'm going to be talking about social media for network marketing in 2021 and some things that I have discovered over the end of this year and how I think social media might look. But I am certainly not the expert on all things social media. So come on in and join me and uh, say hello. I would love to have a discussion with you guys. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. If you found this helpful, definitely share this or tag your people in this video who are looking to learn about Clubhouse. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed Secrets to Marketing Your Wellness MLM. Before you go though, I have something for you. If you are looking to grow your audience online via social media so that you can have people getting excited about your products and reaching out to you to learn more, then you need my cheat sheet that has 50 health and wellness Facebook Live topics that will attract an audience to you. It also walks you through the secret four-part formula that you can follow on both Facebook and Instagram that is proven to have people reaching out to you. And when you get it, I am also sending you guys an audio file for those of you who love to listen to the information on the go. You can get both of those things at www.sariagoddard.com forward slash podcast. Again, that's sariagoddard.com forward slash podcast. S-O-R-A-Y-A-G-O-D-D-A-R-D dot com forward slash podcast. Thanks so much. Chat soon.